He's my Uber. And we have made it to the infield. The skies aren't looking so pretty, but it is clear and it's not raining. We're gonna go take a seat here in the Sir Jackie Grandstands, not too far away from the campsite. We're gonna be camping here tonight with the Michelin Pilot Challenge. Look, we got Jones right here. Hey Mike, what are we doing? I don't know, I thought we were walking around. Apparently we're going five from. I mean, it's more than five feet. What's up, Randy? We're supposed to go. First of all, we're supposed to go to the inner loop. Then they changed it over here. Now, I say we go over there. Somewhere. Nobody's on the same page here today. <laughs> Good thing this isn't important. Look at Sam. Howdy. If they want to stay here, that's fine. Let's go over somewhere else. Like, I was here early. Forty minutes. 40 minutes left of this race, and we don't know where we're going. No one can decide. Well, no one can agree, I guess I should say. Here we have cars on track. It's not time to watch, though. We still have to go up these steps. I would have said no. So all the racing has concluded for today, for Saturday. So we caught a little bit of the last race. They had quite a few races today, uh, a full day of racing. Uh, my group, they have already been here for a few days. They arrived, set up the tent, set up the campsite. It's very nice to be able to just arrive and the campsite be all put together. But, so all the racing action is over. We got a live band way back there. We'll check that out in a little bit. We're just gonna kind of walk around so this was just our arrival day here at Watkins Glen. Tomorrow is the saline six hours at the Glen. It's a six hour endurance race and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good time. So we'll just walk around. This food stand here, you can get a famous Watkins Glen, a Glen dog. We're walking down the Midway here. The Midway is closed for the day. There's not much going on. Still some vehicles on display to check out. This area will open back up tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. sharp. And look at that sky in that direction. It's it's coming. There's rain coming. Weather in the area. Here we have the IMSA race station. 
follow the on-track action. So these are the different types of vehicles that will be in the race tomorrow. So we got GTP, LMP2, LMP3, GTD Pro, and then GTD. Now GTD and GTD Pro are the same vehicles. It's just the drivers are the difference with those. It's a very interesting thing too. They also have the leader light system so that it shows on the side of each vehicle. It will tell you what position they are in class. Very interesting. And then if you really don't know anything about racing, we have our flagged signals that will tell you what each of these flags mean. Whenever you're, whenever you're racing, you never want to see that one. That's not good. That means you're slow. Not a good flag to see. On the other side of the board here, we have the schedule. So as you can see, this was today, Saturday. So it looks like there was four official races, lots of other qualifying and, and practice sessions, but four official races. This one, the Watkins Lynn 120 Michelin Pilot Challenge. That's, that's what we got to see a little glimpse of. Tomorrow is the main event, the Saline Six Hours of the Glen, IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. Starts at 10.40. We will hopefully be up for sunrise. I wanna see the sunrise. But we got warm ups, 8 a.m. to 8.20. Gonna have some on track action. And then we got the championship fan grid walk at 9.35. So you actually get to go down on pit row and check out some of the cars up close and personal. Oh, right here, look at, we have a map of the racetrack. Look at this, look at this. So we are currently standing right in this area. That's where the midway is. Lots of places to sit and sit and watch. There's not a bad spot to check out the action. Now me personally, I love it right here, right there. Turn seven down in the boot. They call this part right here, the boot. That's my favorite spot because you can you can stand here. You actually watch as the cars come around this corner, come down, they drive all the way around you and you get to see them go away. I like that spot. But of course, all the grandstands are good. I believe we're gonna, from turn one, watch the start of the race tomorrow. I believe that was the consensus of the group. Although nobody can seem to agree. I must say, if you wanna get a nice photograph of any of the vehicles that they have on display here in the Midway area, now is the time because there's nobody over here. Tomorrow, that's gonna to be quite the opposite. And my favorite thing about this type of racing, you can just walk into the garage area. Look, they're doing tech. These are the cars that were just racing over here. They're doing tech right down over there. It's just so amazing. I just felt some raindrops. Oh dear. Scrappy do in the window. Little scrappy do. Look at him. He's ready to fight. Making our way back down the very empty midway area. He <laughs> got this Colorado on a little fake rock right there. I do feel some raindrops. I'm gonna start kind of heading back towards the campsite just in case I did check the radar. And there is a decent little, <laughs> decent little cell of rain coming. So it might miss the track, but it's coming. If you look at the sky this way, come on, focus. If you look at the sky that way, 
compared to that way, look, there's some blue there. I think we're gonna get some rains here right below these green, white, and checkered flags. Not in that order. They have this awesome display of the track. That'd be something cool to have hang up at home, although it's, it's quite large. <laughs> guys got themselves a souvenir. It's got a flat tire. It might be taking a break. Here comes the rain. Here comes the rain. The good thing is the campsite is right over here. It's like right around this corner. Well, so far we're dry. We're in the tent now. I'm gonna try and wait this out. Everyone else, they went to uh, bureaucracy or some, some kind of bar. I don't know, I don't drink alcohol. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna hang out here. Walking through the garage was cool. The rain, I guess we're just gonna sit here and try and wait it out. See how long till they get back. So there's supposed to be like fireworks and, and all kinds of stuff tonight. And, now we're gonna cook on the grill and, and just camp out and have fun, but right now I'm just laying here in the tent, waiting it out. Got grill master Corey doing some dogs. Burgers later. This is an advisory that must be taken seriously because it is wet go over here that sunset I almost said sunrise that's gonna be in the morning that sunset it's looking pretty decent for it being all rainy and rain clouds let's go to the top <laughs> stairs definitely should not have rockied the steps Whew. Watkins Glen competition at Watkins Glen. Is there auto brake on? No. Are you sure? I mean, maybe for you, but not for me. I do like how it's nighttime. Everyone's pretty much going to sleep. And on the back of our tent, you can see the race through the back. It's mirrored, it's in reverse, but look. That's, that's funny. And it is now approximately 1 a.m. It's Sunday, it's race day. Six hours of the Glen today. But you're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to see that. But yeah, so we had some fireworks sat next to the fire played some racing it's it was a good time good hangout you know relaxing arrive at the glen day watkins glen international new york finger lakes region yeah so race days tomorrow gotta go get some sleep there's a fire extinguisher in the restroom in front of me here I had to walk and find some lighting because everything's dark 
But yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to the channel, do lots of filming locations, travel videos, and random things from time to time. And until next time, be good, have fun, and learn something.